Hello and welcome to another episode of M16 Madness. This makes it episode two. Or yeah. de, or ni, or uh, basically, this is the series of games where I play with the M16 and I go crazy with the commentary. Crazy, and I will admit right now that I am high on sugar, and this is my second take. Because some fucker muted his own mic after he finished his other commentary that he made literally two hours ago when he woke up at 8 a.m. Well, actually, he woke up at 7 a.m. and he is actually me. And yeah. So let's see if I can remember. Ah, yes. Chocolate. It might be a bit too early to eat chocolate, but it was a big bar of chocolate, okay? And. You know, it's been in the freezer for a few days, and I've been nibbling at it. My brother's been nibbling at it, you know. Share the wealth, share the chocolate. But I pulled a big bad boy out, and there's a bit left, so, you know, I start nibbling on it, getting my, getting my groove on. Getting ready for the day of work that I have later. And what a day that will be, but that's not for now. This is M16 Madness, this is where we talk about chocolate. And all things great. Let me continue. So I think I've finished. So I pat the rapper, you know, you know how you do, you think, oh, you cry, you weep a little bit, a tear falls down your cheek, it rolls, you lick it, it's a bit salty. You wonder why you licked it. You're not really sure how it managed to curve its way towards you, your mouth, because your tongue isn't that big, unless you're one of those lizard people with a tongue that reaches the nose. That's weird. That is weird. But uh, yes, so I pat the, the the bar chocolate wrapping and uh, I thought, ooh, there's a lump there, there's a lump, ooh, there's a lump, ooh, it's like Christmas. It's like going into the living room and all the presents under the tree. I was like, ooh, I was like, well, excited. I go, ooh, there's two little bits of chocolate left. Mmm. Oh, it's, it's Galaxy. I don't know if many of you know what Galaxy is, but I'm guessing you do. I guess, I'm going to guess you do. You know what Galaxy is. It's not the space with the stars. In the emptiness. No, it's the galaxy chocolate. Google it if you do. You, you, yeah, you should know. Two little bars. Little, little bars. Chocolate. Blocks. Little, little blocks. Little blocks. Little rocks. Oh. Oh. I nibble. Nibble away. And, uh. Well. Let's just say. I had some good times. Good times of head. Good times were lost. But what can you do? There's not much you can do, is there, really? I pretty much cocked up this commentary because I managed to pause the video. But I'm gonna guess, it's about a 3 minute mark. Uh, 3 minute 30. Yeah, I'm a bit ahead. That's just, yeah, that's 320, yeah. I'm about a bit behind right now. Maybe. See, the, the beautiful makings of video making making right, this is going on right now people oh I've just did it again oh my god I am cocking up terribly today but I will continue because I know this video is about 10 minutes long so okay I'm ahead now it's alright if I'm ahead I can deal with it so yeah Demon Souls did I talk about that? Or was it in the last first take? let's oh, pretend I haven't talked about it. I've been talking about chocolate. Demon Souls. It's on the PS3. It's an exclusive for the PS3. Um, I actually got it last Friday. Okay, it was sent to me by the good old people at Amazon.co.uk. Uh, advertising not profitable. Prof profitable. Bloody words. Get me tongue tied. This is the madness of the M16 madness episode. Two. So yeah, I'm playing Demon Souls on the PS3. And it's the Black Phantom Edition, the UK release of the game. It took its fucking time getting here. Don't know what was going on, but it got here. I'm happy. It's got it's it's a brutal game. It's a it's a dungeony crawler type thing going on. It's crazy. It's hard. It it came with a little walkthrough guide. It's that difficult, it, and I am thankful for that guide. It doesn't give you too much detail, but it's enough to, to know how to 
kill bosses and, and still feel a, you, you, a sense of accomplishment. And you really do feel a, a bloody sense of accomplishment. And I love the online. It's constantly online. So you'll like, you'll, people can leave messages on the floor. Like, and you can read them and rate them. Or you leave your own messages for other people to read. And sometimes you get little white ghost people wandering through where you are. And they're actually, they're, they are players playing the game as you play. And you can even like go to little pools of blood. And uh, lick it all up. And it goes into your brain, and you can view the death of the people that left the blood. Obviously, there's no licking or drinking of the blood. You just press the X button. But yeah, it's it's on my PS3, which is the I think it's a 40 gig. So it's <laughs> I don't even think they make it anymore. I don't think no, I don't think they do. It's old school. Yeah. But my good friend, uh, Ben, Mr. Ben, also has the game, and uh, he isn't as gamingly adept, adept, there you go, adept as me, basically, let's just say, every game he plays, it's easy, easy mode, let's play easy, it's like, there's no challenge, there's no fun in playing easy, everything dies, you can sneeze on shit, and, and it falls over, and wow, where's the fun in that, there's no fun. Okay, and I don't know why he got Demon Souls. I I didn't really. Well, I never really talked to him about the game because I thought you know it's a hardcore game. Why would he, who can't play hard games, get a hard game? If you catch my drift. <laughs> that did no. Uh, this is Empty Madness. This is madness. This is this is Sparta Madness. Uh, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, Demon Souls. So yeah, uh, I didn't actually speak to him personally about playing the game but I got uh, another friend of it who was on the phone to him at the time I, asked, I got him to ask him and, and his uh, say his review of the game is that it's rubbish <laughs> of course it's rubbish it's hard it's difficult it's merciless it will eat your babies and shit the skeleton in your face it's brutal that's how brutal it is and he can't play normal games on normal mode, so, you know, you know. Let's, let's move away from the PS3, this is an Xbox video, this is played via the Xbox and recorded for the Xbox community, well, for whoever watches it, PC, PS3 gamer, I don't know. PC gamers. Why? Why? Why, why is there an elite <laughs> stigma about the PC gamer? <laughs> It's only a mouse, it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> oh well. I've had some fun with this game recently. A lot of people, you know, like to bitch and say, Ooh, fucking commando, fucking one well, man army noob too, fucking Avi Nesh, fucking commando launcher when he hasn't got commando pro on, fucking ninja, fucking lightweight and marathon, fucking everything, fucking just stop moving so I can shoot you, fucking M16 newbie, newbie famash. Famas, there we go. I tried the Famas, and people say it's the best gun compared to the M16. If it, if you want a burst fire gun, that's apparently your go-to gun. But me, no. I tried it. It's bullshit. I tried it with the bling, with the holographic and the silencer, which Sorry, makes the M16 a sexual beast. Like it doesn't quite work. I don't get the feeling. It's a piece. It feels like a piece of plastic. It squirts water at people, and if you if you miss. You're like, ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm getting you yeah, a bit wet. I'm gonna get you, ooh, I'm gonna soak you, I'm gonna soak you. <laughs> pss, 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 pss. M16 is a flamethrower, okay? You go, pss, pss, pss. that's how I see it. Okay, that's my professional view of the comparison between the M16 and the FAMAS. Ooh, excuse me. Hay fever is killing me slowly, but surely I will die from hay fever. I will die from hay fever. Do you understand me? I will die from hay fever. And not be your fault, Mr. Mr. Um. Oh. Whoever watches this video, you are a Mr. Or a Missies or a Miss. Or a Miz. Miz. Bzz. I hate wasps. Okay. Bees are cool. I hate wasps. And this is the madness. It's almost over. It's almost done. The madness comes to an end. 
It rests for another day. It creeps. It crawls. It'll be back. Don't you worry. Until next time, folks. I've been Rass Revenge, also known as Roy, also known as some other things. Goodbye.